there are times when you're going to need to extend the functionality of the basic Python program beyond what it can do out of the box. So lots of people have written libraries and they're just libraries of Python code that, um, you know, lots of sort of intelligent people have sat down and, and written so that, it, you know, they're basically a whole load of functions that are already written that have been saved as ex additional libraries. And then we can, as users, just import these libraries and just use them. So you can create your own uh, libraries um, and your own functions and save them and reuse them over and over again just by importing them in the same way. But there are some recognized libraries. Tikinta or Kinta is a library that comes with Pandas and enables you to do the graphical interface. Two libraries that we will need to use as part of T-Level are Pandas, which um, is to do with data analysis and one called matplotlib, which allows you to plot graphs and charts um, based on um, series of numbers um, known as data frames. So the way that you import a library is as I've kind of shown on here. You just type the word import and then the name of the library. So I've here imported pandas, I've imported matplotlib, and I've imported Kinta as TK. Now, these libraries aren't always installed on your computer. And sometimes you have to go and get them before you can import them. So it needs to know where they are. Now, the good thing about using uh, this IDE is that you can just easily go and grab those. If you're using something like VS Code, or you're just using the, the Python um, idle, then you might have to use something called PIP or PIP3 in order to go and get those. VS Code, you can generally, um, you know, from the um, additional templates on the side, you can only go and grab these libraries from there. But hopefully, wherever you're using the, the IDE, your um, technical people uh, have already set these up for you. So if we run this now, you can see it's throwing an error and it's throwing an error on the very first line. It didn't get past line three because I don't have pandas. So it can't import it because it, it doesn't exist. So I need to go and get it. So if we look in tools here, you'll see I've got this option to manage packages. If I look for pandas, and tell it to search in the repository on PyPy. It goes off and it finds pandas just here. Click pandas. Tells me a little bit about what it is. It's powerful data structures for data analysis, for time, for statistics. And there's some information about the license and, and the author, um, where I can find more about it, where I can get the documentation about how it works. and. You can see here it tells us it also requires another library called NumPy, which is how Python deals with um, certain types of numbers for the statistical analysis. So I might need to get NumPy as well. All I have to do is press install, wait a moment or two. It'll go off to the repository. It'll find the latest version. I just saw it find NumPy for me just there. Now it's installing the pandas libraries. And eventually it'll tell me it's completed. And this time when I run the program, it should find the pandas library and it should install it for me. Okay, now it's done. Click close. This time when I run it. Okay, this time the error about importing pandas has gone. So we've got past line three, that's great. Now it tells me it can't find the matplotlib library. So again, I can just go to tools, manage packages, look for matplotlib and get it to search on PyPy for that. There it is, matplotlib. Okay, latest stable version, who wrote the uh, library, 
where you can find the um, original um, project and all of the documentation that comes with that. And it also needs something called Contour Pi and some other things as well, but it should install that for us. Let's install. And again, we just wait a second. It's installing the packages. This works the same on a Linux computer as well, if you're not using a Windows machine. And that's it done. Now we close, run again. Okay, no error messages. We know that Kinter comes with the with Python from the get go. It comes in Python, uh, you know, pre installed as part of the Python uh, base code. So we don't need to go find Kinter. It's already there in Python. So we're now at a point where we can start using all of the extra pandas. Um, code, all of the extra matplotlib stuff, and we can start using graphical interfaces using Kinter if we want to be able to do that. So if you're getting no error messages at the bottom, that means it knows those libraries are there, it knows it's all good, and everything is working as it needs to be. You'll also notice on the side here, uh, it did originally give me some warnings. It All it's telling me now is that it knows Pandas is there. It knows Matplotlib is there. It knows Kinter is there, but I but I haven't used it. So it's just warning me that I've imported libraries, but then I didn't do anything with those libraries. So that's fine. We can just ignore that for now.